This video will explain endovenous ablation, which is a treatment for chronic venous insufficiency. Symptoms of chronic venous insufficiency can include heavy, tired, or aching legs. It can also include swelling of the ankles or lower legs. It can include night cramps or restlessness. Sometimes people notice bulging veins or excessive spider veins on their legs. It can also cause unexplained foot pain or knee pain. Sometimes it can cause tingling or numbness in the legs. For patients that have chronic venous insufficiency, also called venous reflux, the primary treatment is a procedure called ablation. Ablation is a medical term that means to close down or eliminate. And we do this as an outpatient procedure under local anesthesia here in the office. It takes about 20 minutes per vein for treatment and you can resume normal activity immediately. The procedure involves inserting a tiny catheter into the abnormal vein. You usually do not feel the catheter go in. You will feel a small little numbing prick in the area where we insert the catheter. Once the catheter is in place, you will feel a series of several little skin pricks where we get the vein numb. Once the vein is numb, we turn the energy on in the catheter and it heats the vein up and closes the vein down. Once that vein is closed down, the backward blood flow in the vein is stopped and the symptoms improve. The ablation procedures are done on the deeper veins that are the root cause of the problem. They are not done on the surface veins. We use two different energy sources for the venous ablation. The first is called radiofrequency closure or radiofrequency ablation, and that catheter uses radiofrequency energy to heat the vein up to close the vein down. The other energy type we use is laser energy. That's called endovenous laser ablation or endovenous laser therapy. And the technique is identical to the radiofrequency ablation, except the catheter uses laser energy to heat the vein up and close the vein down. The ablation procedure is performed under local anesthesia. Most people have little or no pain afterwards. Many times, patients do not need to take any pain medication at all. And if they do, most of the time, it can be treated with over-the-counter Advil, which is ibuprofen, or Aleve, which is naproxen. You can resume normal daily activity immediately. You can resume strenuous exercise in seven days. Most patients experience an improvement in symptoms within a few days after the completion of their procedures. This has been an overview of endovenous ablation.